Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about Black Clover episodes 64 through 67. And before I start, I just wanted to say I am sorry. I, I reviewed episode 63 and then I did a discussion video and then I kind of really fell off of it. And last week I straight up took a break or the week after or the week before rather, I straight up took a break and I just kind of fell off of it. I watched the episodes, but I didn't record my thoughts so I figured I'll give a broad review uh, today and then going forward we'll do it weekly so the first two episodes I'm going to talk about are 64 and 65 um, this is basically the ending of the battle going on at the witch's forest and I just want to so I'm not going to go into great detail because I got a lot to talk about here but I do want to say I'm not sure I'm like I am I, I like the design I, I I'm okay with to some degree, um, it's usage, but Vanessa's new ability to basically rewrite history, I guess, to some degree, um, it, or basically, uh, rewind time for whatever amount of, maybe like, maybe like a five minute, uh, thing, maybe less, um, I don't care for that a hundred percent. I, it, like, time travel is always weird in general when you can just do whatever, but like when you can just rewind it for a moment and then have things turn out differently in your favor, kind of comes across as a uh, cop out or a, or to some degree an ass pull. Um, I, 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 it had a purpose in this fight because it was more of a fight between her, Vanessa, and the uh, witch queen. Uh, so it, there was a purpose going on there uh, to fulfill the story. But going forward, I kind of hope that she doesn't use it that often. It's like in Dragon Ball. Like, if you can bring back people from the dead, whenever you want, more or less, like, with the exception of very few things, why are why would anybody care if somebody dies? Or why would, like, it's, sure, it's unpleasant, but it's not like, it, it, it doesn't, there, there's no finality about it. Finality, a word? Mm. Uh, but there's no, there's no, there's no end result where, oh, things could get bad real quickly. Um, so it's a little weird and loosey-goosey. I'm sure there are some rules to it, uh, that, that, that keep her from using it over and over and over again, uh, or whatever. But it feels like maybe the kind of thing that they maybe should keep in their back pocket for a long time. And, like, maybe it's revealed it takes up a lot of energy or... Or whatever, something needs to keep her from using it all the time. As far as Asta and the Witch Queen go, I I didn't hate that. I actually really liked that. So he had just gotten his demon power. Okay, it's anti magic power, but it's kind of a demon thing. I don't know. It's that something's given it a form. So whatever. I'm gonna keep calling it demon power. He he just got this new form, and that kind of almost wrecked his body. Uh. But now he's all healed up, but now he's being controlled by the Witch Queen, and she's trying to get him to kill all of their friends and allies, and then Vanessa's power kind of comes in and says, nope, not gonna happen. Uh, so that that's, that's basically the crux of the last couple of episodes of that arc. Basically them overcoming this, and eventually they break free from the control, and the Witch Queen kind of has a change of heart and realizes that maybe she is not supposed to be doing the way, doing things the way that she sh has been doing. Uh, her her cold heart kind of melts a little bit, and she basically gives them this uh, jewel or whatever the crystal that they've been looking for, and goes on her merry way. Uh, she she basically says to Vanessa, "Hey, go live your life. I realize now that keeping you prisoner." has not really been helpful to you and that you being out in the world is largely uh large largely what made you be able to manifest that new power of yours um but hey come back and visit once in a while i she i don't know whether she's legitimately everybody's mother in the witch forest or whether it's just like or whether she's just vanessa's mother or whether it's like a mother thing where it's like, oh, she's the leader, so everybody reveres her as their mothers. I don't know. But she she and Vanessa kind of have sort of a heart-to-heart -heart, uh, situation. And that's basically the end of the arc. Uh, the, they kind of have a resolution. Uh, the Diamond Kingdom people go back to the Diamond Kingdom. Uh, well, I'm not going to remember their names. Uh, the 
the actual diamond looking guy, the guy with the gray hair and uh, the guy with the red hair, uh, they, they go back because they're going to go try to reform the Diamond Kingdom from within now that they have their minds uh, pretty set straight. Fonzel? Fonzel? Uh, his, he and his wife and the, their apprentice and uh, the girl with the pink hair. I'm awful with names. I'm sorry. Um, but the, they're, they're going off just to kind of live their lives. They're going to keep her safe for a little while now that she's free from the Isle of Midnight Sun. And then Asta and his crew basically are like, okay, we're going to go home. Um, the one thing I will say is pretty funny about this is once they do get home, obviously Asta is, is all healed up. His arms are cool. He's all set. Um, but then everybody starts coming back to the, to the, uh, to base and they're like, oh, I couldn't find out what to do. I'm a failure, blah, 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 blah. And Asta's just like, hey, look at me. I can do whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then they, they all like... They, they, they either hacked happy, if I remember correctly, or they, like, get angry at him because now he's healed up or something, and or they don't care. And one thing, Gauche, Gauche has, it's, it's really gross. Okay, so everything about Gauche is kind of really gross, uh, in my opinion, but it, it kind of, it, we get a little bit more insight into his nose bleeding, uh, uh, habit, and it turns out that it's less of a weird perverted thing, I guess, uh, towards his sister, but more of, like, when he, when he's really concentrating on somebody that he cares deeply about, then it happens. Um, so he does it, so it, it, he went to the library or something, um, to look up some stuff, and it had turned out that he, well, he was trying to fix Asta's arms, uh, finding whatever information he could, he was bleeding out of his nose, and so we get a little bit more insight into him a little bit, like, kind of like that, but, uh, it's still gross, I don't care for it. They have a big party at the end of episode 65, and they, they grill, and Asta's doing all the chores, because Yami is just like, hey, yo, now that your arms are fixed, get back to work, uh, whatever, um, but the, the everything kind of ends happily. Okay, so episode... 66 is a recap episode. I don't really care for recap episodes. I, they serve a very important purpose for people that are not uh, fully caught up or whatever or don't remember some things. But there's not really a whole lot to talk about. It's basically, the, you know, as far as I, I I admit, I skipped through it. Um, so maybe I missed something important. Hopefully not. But as far as I knew, the only like brand new scenes were uh, Yuno and uh, his 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 friends looking up uh, documents about the past transgressions of uh, the Black Bulls and Asta and whatever, and they were just reviewing what happened. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> um, but episode sixty-seven was a filler episode. I don't know. So episode sixty-seven. I actually enjoyed it a lot, and regardless of whether it goes anywhere or whether it's just a con contained couple of episodes, because I think the next episode follows it a little bit, um, I, I don't know, uh, but I enjoyed it a lot. It was a, a the festival of stars or a star festival, and it's basically to uh, celebrate all of the uh, Magic Knights uh, squads and uh, all their stars, and somebody gets crowned... Uh, the, the an award or whatever for having the most stars and obviously that's going to be Yuno's squad because uh they are the best apparently that it's basically just everybody having a good time at this festival and having ha having some food winning some prizes noel and asta actually bring uh kahano and her brother and they heal them up <laughs> and that's pretty cool so it ends up uh turning out that asta had actually bottled some of the uh witch queen's uh uh magic healing magic so he he basically just healed them up right away so Kahano can sing, and uh, I don't remember his name. Uh, he can dance again. His leg gets reattached uh, real nice, like. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty, pretty, it was a pretty good episode overall. I had a good time watching it. Um, a lot of it spe is spent uh, Kahano trying to get Noel and Asta together. Meanwhile, her brother is constantly hitting on Noel, and that's not going to happen. And clearly, Noel likes Asta, but Asta's oblivious, and he likes uh, that that uh, nun back at home, so it's, it's irrelevant either way. Um, but it's, it's a really funny episode, and I actually, I see... It, it, it shows a little bit of growth for Noelle, honestly. Um, obviously, she's been growing as a person, as a character overall throughout the series. But it, they, they end up running into this little girl who's crying. 
and all of the noble nobility and all the rich people are basically like, Ugh, she's in the way she's crying get out of the way blah 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 but noel shows some uh some kindness uh because she's a human being and and she she basically uh helps put on a show with asta and uh and uh kahano and her brother and in the end the girl is like ends up being a little bit happy and Noel gives this pretty decent speech about how it doesn't matter whether you're a nobility or a commoner or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter what the uh, circumstances of your birth are. We're all people. We're all humans. We, we should be kind to one another and, and help each other out in our times of need. And everybody basically kind of like softens up there a, bit, a little bit. I'm sure that they'll, they'll go on with their lives and act like jerks later on. But they, they realize that, like, if this, like, girl from from a great noble, noble house, uh, House Silva, is, is like, being kind and, ha like, helpful to even just a commoner, maybe, maybe other people can, too. I don't know. It was a good lesson to learn uh, for everybody around, and I think that shows Noelle's uh, growth. Uh, for the series, and I hope to see more from her. Uh, she she's definitely good at good at using her magic. There was a funny part where they go through a haunted house, and Kahano is trying to get Asta and Noel to be together. So they send her, them those two in, and the, the the funny part is that like aha the guy aha uh, I don't remember his name because Asta only ever calls him aha, um, but him and his cronies are gonna try to scare uh, Noel and and uh, Asta. And so they come, like, out of these paintings looking like zombies. And immediately, Asta and Noel are like, Oh my god, the zombies from that attack from, like, two arcs ago are, are back. And they just start attacking them and, like, wrecking up the place. And <laughs> Asta even confronts Aha, but only ever sees, like, he, like, hallucinates into thinking he's a zombie. And he just, like gives him a bull big old whack and that's pretty good <laughs> so they end up getting kicked out of the haunted house because they basically wrecked the place so that was i thought was a really funny uh part uh the episode ends with fireworks going off magna's uh shooting off some some flame fireworks and whatnot and and during that the uh, asta finally says that she he really likes uh he really likes noel especially after what happened with the little girl and that makes her blush and like freak out and she sends him flying up into the into the uh fireworks and then finally the last scene which is ends on a cliffhanger i guess um is yami and and jack i think his name is the the uh like praying mantis i think is his squad the captain two captains yami and jack basically about to like go at it yami's in his happy uh, uh japanese like coat uh with a, a band around his head and just a loincloth and jack's probably dressed a bit more appropriately um but but they're about to fight or something or uh take part in a competition i don't know uh but th that's where the episode ends off i'm still not sure if this is a filler i don't read the manga so i don't know whether it was in there or whether it goes anywhere but hey, I'm okay with a little bit of a break from serious, serious, serious stuff going on. Uh, we're, we're about to go into a new arc of what appears to be a tournament. Um, I, I think it'll be really cool. We got some reveals of uh, some new characters in the opening, and I'm super psyched for that. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed the last few episodes uh, that were actually brand new stuff. Uh, I'm sorry again for not talking about it earlier. Uh, it just got away from me. I, I've done stuff since, but it just got away from me. I'm going to be better about that. Uh, hopefully I can get back onto a weekly schedule for Black Clover. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on this group of episodes. Uh, what did you guys think about the end of the, uh, uh, witch arc, uh, the witch forest arc? And what did you think about these, uh, the, the, uh, festival episode, the first one anyways? Um, yeah, let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get all kinds of notifications about whenever I upload my videos. I will see you guys in a new one next time. Bye-bye.